I've got friends that I know that I'm only gonna hear from in a time of need. I've got friends that hit me up when it's been a long time they ain't heard from me. I've got friends that will do all if I make that call and tell him it's peak. If he puts you on a shirt, he did it for me, it's a loyalty. I've got friends that won't go anywhere else, she calls me the TBE. I've got friends that I call my G. Couple day ones with me. I've got friends that started out like that, but she turned into a queen. Back in the palace, ain't where you find my royalty. The next topic we're going to discuss on Boxing Bros is Richardson Hitchens explains why he hasn't petitioned to fight Subriel Martinez because Richardson Hitchens is Subriel Martinez mandatory. So he was on this boxing channel, uh, Mill City. Salute to Mill City. Uh, Mill City uh, does a great job interviewing fighters and Tries to call it down the middle, which is proof of this situation right here. To make it. Hold on. You see um, how he handled it. So he got a super chat, and the super chat asked this question, and he presented this question to Richardson Hitchens. And listen to Richardson Hitchens' explanation as to why he hasn't petitioned to fight Subriel Martinez for the belt. Petition to make that fight. The style clash would make an exciting fight. Thank you, Marcus, for the five dollars. What you think about that, that I've been, statement? I've been vocal about the IBF. I've been vocal about the IBF before Matias was even. Uh, I don't even know. I don't watch Frank if you probably even knew Matias was even ranked number two or number one for the IBF after I fought. I'm like I said, I never fought for a belt for ranking belt when I was a Mayweather promotion. I didn't know what what how sink how sinking bodies and those their ways. But ten pound. Uh, Rehydration clause took a lot out of me when I fought Alamo, and I didn't like the way I felt. I didn't like the way how I felt the night before the, the night before the fight, where it still felt like I was dehydrated. I still was making weight. I still felt like drained. I couldn't really eat after uh, breakfast. I think I ate breakfast or and like maybe a little bit of like lunch, and I really think yeah, I was still hungry. I didn't like that feeling going into a fight, and I feel like like I said, severe so tears and no easy task. If I fight a fight like that, I want to be at my best, and I want to rehydrate at my best. So. I'm willing to fight whoever at the 140 division, but I'm not finding no top guy like that with, it, with not being in my best. So, Bill Matias has been vocal and, and he says he, he has no problem with the IBF. He doesn't rehydrate even that, that big. So, I'm a guy, I'm, I'm not a small 140. And, and like I said, yeah, I want to be at my best if I get in the ring with somebody like Bill Matias or Devin Haney or anybody. You see Devin Haney when he rehydrated the Regis, he came out 165 because he knew that. He had to withstand the punches. He had to be big and he had to be hiding to be able to, to be to be dope to be able to take that that impact if he had to. All that plays a big key in big fights. And I think that uh, me being smart, I would come into a fight like that. The same thing look at in history with Dan Jacob. Tishin. All right, so <laughs> you heard what he said. He said because the IBF has a, a clause in it. Well, you can only rehydrate 10 pounds the day after the weigh-in. He doesn't want to fight Subriel because he feels like he won't be at his best. <laughs> Although he pays sanction and fees to be ranked in that sanction and body, and he knew that going in. Now he's saying he didn't know that because because of Mayweather promotions, whatever, and now he doesn't want it, and he doesn't want to take that fight. Uh, Dollar Bill, what's your reaction to that? Just say you don't want no smoke without saying you don't want no smoke. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't mad at you. It's just that you don't want no smoke. You, you try to make the man, you ain't even the A-side yet. You ain't never even got a man. You ain't, listen, you better go in there and, and, and prove yourself. Or you try to think you tank or something. Mentioning Devin, all these guys who done became champion already got belts. You know what I'm saying? They got some name for themselves. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we know who you are, but you ain't made a name for yourself. You got to go and grab one of these belts. You mean everybody surpassed you. Roley, everybody. People talk about, I remember seeing you before, you know what I'm saying? All the other people that just covered before you. The, uh, you know what I'm saying? Even the Serbio Martinez. All these people. You had the spotlight on you. You know what I'm saying? And you ain't taking the challenges, man, that you don't want to lose. People are scared to take that L, you know? That's what it is. People are scared to take that L. And most, and I'm not even on the, the I just think these guys don't want no smoke with Toby. 
they don't want no, they don't want no smoke. That's basically what he was saying to me. I got I, that's what he was saying to me. Like he don't want no smoke without saying he don't want no smoke. You know what I'm saying? That's basically what he was saying. Run away from me, baby. Uh, run away, run away from me, baby. <laughs> run away. <laughs> Yo, listen. The thing that's crazy to me is everyone will concede Richardson Hitchinson has more uh, Richardson Hitchens has more skill than Subriel Martinez. Devin Haney has more skill. Tio Pimo Lopez has more skill. They're the more skilled fighters. But they don't want no parts of Subriel Martinez. And I'm going to tell you why. Just because you're the more skilled fighter doesn't mean that Subriel Martinez doesn't have any skill and they know that he's going to touch them and they don't seem prepared to deal with that just because to me like i said the most technically sound best fighter that i've ever seen is floyd money mayweather and what were his toughest fights guys like medina guys like castillo guys like miguel Cotto. Those were the guys that gave him the toughest task. Guys like Subriel Martinez. But if Richardson Hitchens is as good as he says he is, he should be able to outbox Subriel Martinez. You can't keep him off of him. <laughs> if Haney is as good as he says he is, he should be able to beat Subriel Martinez. Well, that's the point. Floyd, everyone says Floyd couldn't punch. Everyone says Floyd was, mm -hmm. but Floyd was able to keep these guys off him. He was able to survive. He was able to win and get the decision. That's why I say like Floyd is like so underrated. People don't give him the props. Even, you know, Eddie, um, I mean, Robert Guerrero to some extent. Robert Guerrero has some good victories. We applied the pressure, beat down uh, Berto and then got the, um, but if these guys are as good as they say they are, they're supposed to take a fight against someone like Subriel Martinez and beat them. That was the standard for boxers. A lot of boxers got found out that way, too, when they would take the fight against the puncher and they couldn't yeah. outbox the puncher and then the puncher would come out and became famous. Yeah. With a broken cheek. Yeah. <laughs> this is his courage. Fighting in there, fighting Kodo. Yeah. You, you, take the tough, you take the tough fight. You win it. Or you lose it, but you'll gain you'll gain respect of the people. And this is the difference in boxing today. Like, I don't understand. I think of like you think of the big clashes that happen today, like at the point where these guys would be fighting today. Like, for example, um Floyd Mayweather versus Corrales. They both weren't superstars but they both were really good fighters in the public knew. And this was kind of like that make a break point, make a star point and bang. Floyd won in an impressive fashion. That didn't derail um, Corrales. Corrales went on to have great fights. The classic fight with Castillo, everything. We talk about cross fights again. Look at how easy <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just like, yeah, but but this is what I'm saying to people. Like, they took the fights, made classic fights. Floyd Mayweather fought uh, Chop Chop Corley. Most people won't remember that, but at that time, Chop Chop Corley was the dude. Was dangerous, nice. He even hurt Floyd. That uppercut. <laughs> yeah. He even hurt Floyd, but Floyd took the fights. It stopped. He yeah, Oscar too. Oscar gets all the smoke, and I mean Oscar contributes to him getting the smoke. But Oscar took the tough fights, dog. You can't take that away from Oscar. Felix Trinidad took the tough fights. Felix Trinidad, when Felix Trinidad was already a superstar, already at the top, fought David Reed, the Olympian, undefeated, bigger fighter. Three gold medals, but I'm saying, took on the tough fights, bro. Y'all send y'all don't want to do nothing now. Y'all want y'all want to play and, and and get paid for fighting guys we know aren't that or aren't like that. No one's hating on Devin, but if go run the tapes, I knew Regis wasn't like that. 
None, we knew Regis was going to, we knew he was going to outbox Regis. We knew that. Go unify. Richardson Hitchens has the opportunity to petition to fight Subrio Martinez, but he doesn't want to because of um, a rehydration clause. Which, which brings me to another point. Tank should probably just try to get the IBF belt and then everyone who fights him would automatically have to have a rehydration clause. So maybe Tank should try to fight Subrio. I don't know. And it's not like I'm trying to paint this guy as the boogeyman. It's, that's not what we're doing. We're simply saying, can this man get a fight? Can he get an <laughs> opportunity to show what he got? Can he get that? Can, 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 can he at least get an opportunity to show us what he is or what he's not? For all you people saying Subrio Martinez is a hype job, can, can, we get the, can, we, can we get the opportunity to see it at least? Can we get the opportunity to see at least if Subrio Martinez is a hype job? I want to know. So that means I want Teal to fight him and show me. That means I want Devin to fight him and show me. That means I want one of these guys at the top to fight Subrio Martinez and show me he's a hype job. But none of them even want to prove it to me. Richardson Hitchison right now can prove that Subrio Martinez is a hype job. Just petition to fight him and show your great boxing skills. Box circles around this guy who has no defense, this guy who gets hit too much, this guy who everyone's hyping up. Beat him and shut us up. Because we're going to come in here and be like, oh, he was overrated. Do it for us. Do us the favor. Please, please do us the favor. I'm still waiting. When someone finally does it, actually signs the dotted line, we'll keep you informed. But as of right now, this is another fighter telling us why they don't want to fight Super Bowl Martinez. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Remember, yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, check us out on Instagram and Twitter. And please check out our podcast on all major streaming services. We're the Boxing Bros. It's my Wi Fi. <laughs> <laughs>